Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Staff Liturgy. Um, today is the Feast of the Sacred Heart, so firstly uh, congratulations and happy feast day to, um, to anyone who works at Sacred Heart in Leicester or Sacred Heart Loughborough. Uh, we're going to begin our Staff Liturgy today with the Son of the Cross. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Feast of the Sacred Heart is a, is a really special one. It's an invitation for us to show gratitude to Jesus for the sacrifice he made for us the unconditional love that he shows us. It's also a chance for us to reflect on the mystery of the Incarnation, the fact that God took human flesh in Jesus and that his human but sacred heart is a reminder of the, the joining of the human and the divine. It's also a reminder for us to show the same level of love to everyone we meet, to all the people around us that Jesus showed, showed to us. The reading that we're going to hear today talks about, or reminds us about the Incarnation, but it also talks to us about uh, how we should act towards each other and the love that we should show to other people. Um, and it's it's the reading that we're here at Mass, it's the second reading that we're here at Mass on Sunday, and it's uh, from the letter of, uh, first letter of John. So, let's have a listen. Dear friends, let us love one another, because love comes from God. Whoever loves is a child of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. And God showed his love for us by sending his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. This is what love is. It is not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the means by which our sins are forgiven. Dear friends, if this is how God loved us, then we should love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in union with us, and his love is made perfect in us. We are sure that we live in union with God, and he lives in union with us, because he has given us his spirit. And we have seen and tell others that the Father sent his Son to be the Saviour of the world. If we declare that Jesus is the Son of God, we live in union with God, and God lives in union with us. And we ourselves know and believe the love which God has for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As said, the reading there reminds us about how we should treat other people, the love that we should have for the people. A while ago now, I asked head teachers to send in uh, positive videos showing uh, acts of love and, and good news for what was going on either at home or in school during lockdown. Um, one of those videos seemed to really encapsulate this idea of, of just love and joy for each other. And that's what I'm gonna share with you um, today. So it's a video from St. Patrick's uh, that the students put together. Uh, I'm gonna show you now. I hope you enjoy. One of the skills that I've learned is skipping. Thank you so much to St. Patrick's School for putting that together. Um, now, as I said earlier, uh, it's the Feast of the Sacred Heart today. And you, you may or may not know um, that Jesus made uh, certain promises um, to us if, if we dedicate ourselves and, and, and pray to the Sacred Heart. Um, and there, there are a number of different promises. I'll, I'll read out a few of them. Um, I will give peace to their families. I will console them in their troubles, I will be their refuge in life and especially in death. I will abundantly bless all their undertakings. I will give them all the graces necessary for their state of life. Lots of different promises that, that, that Jesus that Jesus gave us. And so on this feast of the Sacred Heart, I just invite you to spend some time with the Lord. And what I'd like you to do is just to, to hold uh, an intention in your heart. So to think of a person that you want to pray for today or a thing. 
uh, a situation that's going on, maybe a group of people. So I just want you to spend some time now with, with the Lord and to think about that intention. And after that we're going to say the prayer of the Sacred Heart together. Um, so we're going to spend some time in quiet now with the Lord. So we're going to bring that intention now to God with this prayer of the Sacred Heart. O Lord Jesus Christ, to your most sacred heart I confide this intention. And look upon me, then do what your love inspires. Let your sacred heart decide. I count on you, I trust in you. I throw myself on your mercy, Lord Jesus, you will not fail me. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I believe in your love for me. Sacred Heart of Jesus, your kingdom come. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I have asked you for many favours, but I earnestly implore this one. Take it, place it in your open heart. When the Eternal Father looks upon it, he will see it covered with your precious blood. It will no longer be my prayer, but yours, Jesus. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Let me not be disappointed. Amen. And we end our time in prayer with the Son of the Cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, hopefully it stops raining, and we get to enjoy some good weather. See you all soon. Bye.